Hey, uh, my name's Reese, and I just wanted to talk about my life uh, before I found God and uh, before before I was saved. My life was, you know, not that bad actually. My life, I, I didn't have any crazy situations like abusive parents. I didn't have any, I didn't have any struggles. I didn't have any addictions. Um, but because I, I grew up in the church mostly, I, I grew up in. Bayou Sarah Baptist Church, and it was a good church home, but growing up in a church, uh, you start to sort of become numb to everything, because you grow up as a kid, and that's what I did. I sort of saw everything as just routine at a certain point, so seeing it as routine, I would go to school, and it it sort of wouldn't intertwine. I didn't feel a need to talk about it, because it was just another part of my life. It wasn't important, so... That led to me not really caring about God so much and led me to get worse and worse, sort of a decline as a human being. Because ever through through school, I'd say late middle school to high school, I became a horrible, horrible person. And I don't just mean sinful, I mean to others. I was so hurtful to so many people I cared about and you know, some that I didn't care about because that was a lot of people, sadly. But the people that I loved and my friends, I would, I would mistreat them, I would verbally abuse them. One person, uh, one of my closest friends, I even made her cry. So, you know, just, just phenomenal. And um, I, I didn't even care. I had no empathy, I had no sympathy for anyone. I guess just at a certain point after seeing so many people, you know, lose faith in me and lose their love for me, it's just, I was in the shower one night just, you know, doing my uh, routine, you know, just fixing to go to bed and all of a sudden while the water was hitting me, I just, I, I broke down realizing that, you know, God had spoken to me like telling me and reminding me that I was down this terrible path that I was living in sin and it was all just a wave at once Uh, and I just sat down in there and I just started begging him you know no one was home so I started screaming and I was I was like God I'm sorry that I've done all these horrible things it was like sin just hitting me like I'm sorry for this I'm sorry for that and I could just feel his forgiveness as I begged and I pleaded and it was so awesome to feel. It was so good of him to do that for me, and he, he forgave everything. Uh, and because of that, because of what he did for me, I, I get to live every day now, trying to, you know, just, I'm, I'm happy again. You know, he's, he's made it to where I'm already forgiven, so I don't have to work off these terrible things that I do, although I like trying anyways. Um, but yeah, he brought me from that horrible, terrible person that I used to be to to whatever I am now. I'm just I'm saved. I'm I'm so happy. I'm I'm made new, and I don't feel like that awful person I used to be anymore. He feels like a different person to me now, and I thank him every day for that. Because if I didn't, you know, I'd, I'd be a sad person. It's it's so good, and I can hope and pray that I just influence someone with this. I hope that, you know, by us telling our stories and me telling mine that, you know, you can see that anyone can change. Because thank God I did. And that's my story, so what's yours?